Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Destiny from Deswix and welcome back to yet another video in the blog series using Django and React.js. In this one, we will get started working with liking posts. That is all we'll be doing. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. I'll begin by opening up my code editor. And this one will actually be quite simple. All we just need to do is down here, create a function called handle like post and you could go ahead and pass the post ID here. That is if you actually want to do that. If you don't want to do that, you could skip that. And over here, let's go ahead and construct the JSON data. So I'll construct JSON should be equal to, firstly, the back end will be expecting the user ID. And right now we haven't created the authentication information. So let's just go ahead and pass in one, which will mock the first user in the database, which is destiny, I think. Then we also need the post underscore ID. So this one, I'm just going to pass in post dot ID. Good. So the JSON data is done. Now I'm going to create a response const response should be equal to await API instance dots. And this is going to be a post call. Remember, if you'll be using await, you should make this an async function. Okay. So await and it's called post slash like post slash. And please do not forget to pass in your JSON data like I did. Let's confirm if that's the URL. Yep, sure it is. So after you've done all this, you will go ahead and log the response.data. Response.data. You can also toast if you want. So let's toast success. And I will also say, Post liked. And let's also go ahead and fetch all the posts. So guys, you can see how simple all this are. Can you see? Now I just need to take this handle like post and put it in the like button. For now, I don't have any like button anywhere. You go ahead and construct one for yourself. Put it wherever you want. Like I've said, just play around with it. It's your code. How about I want to put it maybe down here, be, be, below the tags. So let's look for where we have the tags, which is here. And I want to put it down here, right? So I'm going to create a button with an i tag, FAS, FA dash, thumbs up. There you go. The button, I want to give it a class name, BTN, BTN dash, success. Good. Or you could even call it primary if you don't want to call it success. I'm going to have another one down here, which is going to be Tom's down. Good. There you go. So when we have this, the board of this now, do, do not forget to change this to danger. Okay. So now that we have the board of this, all we just need to do is you know, if you don't actually want to add those two, you could just add only one. Only one should still work. And if only one is there, it pretty much means that a user has to click on it again to unlike the post. And I actually don't really like the success. Let me go with the primary. All good. Instead of the second one being thumbs up, I'll just call it bookmark. Now we'll use it in the next video. So this should be danger. All right, there you go. This is what we have. So um, let's work with this. So I want you to put on the click of this button, put the handle bookmark post. So handle, sorry, handle like post is what we're supposed to put. I actually said bookmark post. And there's, there's nothing like that for now at least. So when you have done this, let's see. You click on this, see, post liked, good. It was the post actually liked, let's confirm that. See likes, we don't see anything over here. How about we like? See, now we see destiny, good, right? Well, I think there is a little bit of problem that we will be getting. Can't you show like post unliked or post liked, something like that. If you're gonna be doing that, let's see. I want to log response.data. Let's see what we get. So over here, open up your console. 
click on this see post this like so please in the toast instead of you just putting post like like this just say response dot data dot message okay now this is going to give you the exact message that you'll be needing if you click on this now see post liked if you click on it again post disliked very very okay you can also go ahead and, and count how many likes that this post have got. Let me show you how that will be done. So if you want to do that, um, this is the button for the post, right? Just somewhere here, you could go ahead and create posts dot likes dot len zero. Click on this one. Click on this zero. Perfect. I hope this makes sense now. If you want to give that a little bit of space, give the icon an ME2 to push it out a little bit. Good. So you see, one, see, two. So that is how you work with, um, that is how you actually work with liking posts in React JS. Okay. So I think that is pretty much it. In the next one, we'll get started working with the bookmark. It's quite simple, the same thing, but the only downside to this now, this like post is that we are coding this in, which doesn't really make sense. So we definitely need to create the user authentication so that when the user logged in, logs in, we that automatically and dynamically get the logged in user ID and pass it in here. Don't worry about that. So we'll get to that section. We'll fix it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If there is something that you don't understand, let me know in the question section below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, my love, peace out.